How's your mama? How's your mama? What's going on? Uh, I'm gonna do this video because you know everybody heard the news. Justin Bieber then got caught up in something by beating up the paparazzi. The paparazzi. The paparazzi. Now some people know how I feel about this punk ass motherfucker. Now, and uh, but it's like this though, man, about Justin Bieber. I really don't like this dude whatsoever. I don't see there's no talent. He ain't got no talent to me. But y'all sit up here. Oh, how can you criticize Justin Bieber? No, no, no. He's just a punk ass boy with a fucking gel haircut. He looks like he he looks like he put the gel in his hair that was from that movie something about Mary. Plus he wears girl women's clothing, so that makes him kind of. Makes you wonder what really goes on between him and Selena. Does he wear Selena's underwear and bra? Does what? What's up? Now the story goes is like this: that the paparazzi was taking photos and got a little bit too close to Justin Bieber, and Justin Bieber beat the shit out of him. Now uh, I can understand. I can understand defending yourself, but when you beat up somebody like it, man, and he has to take a ride to the hospital to get checked out. Uh, you're gonna be looking at a lawsuit, my friend. And I, it's like this, man. I, I, I say, say like this. I don't give a damn if you're rich or famous. I don't give a damn if you're rich, poor, white, black, Puerto Rican, Chinese, whatever, from U.S. or Canada or Mexico. When you break the law and you assault somebody. I think you should be charged for what you did because if I could hit a person in the face and get arrested and be charged with something battery, I think he can too. But I be thinking that a lot of people, that the justice system is letting a lot of celebrities slip by, let them get away with anything. So if he slips by, walks from a something battery charge, that tells me that the government, that the justice system, allows me to go around hitting people and walk from a charge, walk from a some battery charge. I think that's how it should be with people. When you let a celebrity walk from a walk from a charge, any charge, that the common person should be allowed to walk from a charge. Any charge. Because one thing is, this is United States, man. If you're going to fight... If you're gonna be fair with the people, and you won't, if you're gonna be fair with the people, you gotta be fair. I'm not talking about let Justin Bieber rob a bank and smack him on his hand, and say, "Oh, it was on a mistake. He uh, he was just doing that. He was a prank, whatever. Just shrug it off like it ain't nothing." But if it was me and I do rob a bank, I go to jail. I get years in prison. So see how it is. Doesn't matter if he's rich or famous. Doesn't matter if he's white or black. If he lives in if if he lives in Canada or U.S., if he's a boy or girl, if he's gay or straight, if he breaks the law and assaults somebody, I think he should be charged like anybody else should, any celebrity should. If Wesley Snipe can go to jail for tax fraud, but he can get away with hitting somebody in the face, then. Then somebody needs to do something. I think he should be charged with assault and battery. Because when you let him walk, you allow him to break more of the laws. Let, let him break all the laws. You let them card. Like, you look at Brandy, Ray J's sister. Now, she hit a woman and killed that woman in the rig. Now, Brandy walked from a murder charge. Now, see what I'm saying? But if I hit somebody with my car, they already got me in the penitentiary. See what I'm saying? I think no special treatment for the people that's entertaining us. I don't care if they in music, movies, TV shows, plays, uh, cartoons, voiceovers, whatever, YouTube, whatever. They, they, in, in any any field of entertainment, I don't care. If they break the law, they should be punished just like everybody else. And for the girls that actually, the girls that's fans sat up there and watched it, you can't, you can't sit up there and say, yeah, I saw it. He beat up the paparazzi, 
but go on the defense. That defense goes out the window when you actually tell the truth and tell the police what happened. Yeah, he got a little close and Justin Bieber just start wailing on him and beating him up and just knocking him down, just punching on him, just busting his lip and breaking his nose or something like that. You can't sit there and tell, you can't sit there and just give him, just sell him out like that, then turn around and say, Oh, we like that the baby. He didn't mean to do it. He no, no, no. That's gone. That defense goes out the window after you told the cops what really what happened. So that last part really doesn't count as protecting somebody. That's actually selling them out, selling them up creek. Because you just told the police that he beat up somebody with no reason. So he just salted, salted somebody because he was taking pictures. So that means I think they should go to court. And, and instead of slapping on the wrist, you better slap him on some papers and some and an ankle bracelet. Because one thing is, if y'all don't, you got two options. That proper Roxy is gonna sue sue Justin Bieber and the, and the state, or people gonna start punching, or you're gonna have people going around punching people because you allowed this boy to walk from a some battery charge. That means if he walks from a some battery charge, that means I can go up to any police officer and punch him in his face, and if they arrest me, I can throw up. Oh, oh, it's funny that y'all can let Justin Bieber walk from a some battery charge, but then when it's me, I go to jail. So which is it? Let me walk. Let me walk like you did Justin Bieber, or I sue because that's how it is. It's a double standard. It's double, it, in a way, it's kind of double standard. If you can't sit up there and tell, the, you can't sit up there and, and tell, oh, he really beat up the guy. He beat him up, and then turn around and say, oh, he didn't mean to. That's double standard. But if we, if it happens to me, and if it happens to me, I go to jail. But if it happens to him, he walks free. I think that's unfair and unlawful for anybody to. Walk from a cave. Anybody. It doesn't matter if they got money or not. Or famous or not. Because it makes no sense that you allow somebody under that age. There's kids out there that's his age. That is his age. Beating up. Bringing guns to school. Selling drugs. Sitting up there. Fighting in school. Selling battery. And they get locked up. They go to jail. See what I'm saying? But him, they about to look at him. Uh, 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 oh, he just acted. He didn't mean to. Mm, he just pressed. No, uh, 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 I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't care if he can sing, dance, or it's like the white version of Usher. I really don't give a shit. Y'all better prosecute him like you prosecute a regular person. Because it shouldn't. It shouldn't be like that where he can get away with so much because of who he is or who he's dating or who he's fucking. Because I'm like I'm 27, man. I know the law because I've been on this circle. Because if I go around punching people in the face and I get arrested for beating up his own battery, I think he should be going to jail or prosecuted for doing the same damn thing. Don't sit up there and leave comments. Why you hating on Justin Bieber so badly? Why you hating on Justin Bieber so badly? The reason why is the fucker ain't got no morals. He don't have, he ain't gonna do the right thing. Just because he took a picture with a sick kid and to, took a picture with a sick kid and pretend to get married, that's bullshit. That's just a publicity stunt to get him money. Oh, he did that before the paparazzi. No, he did that just to get some money out of it. Any any celebrity can take a picture of themselves and send it into the paper and get money. Now, it is what it is, man. You either lock his ass up, slap parole, put some papers on him and an ankle bracelet and stop being such a pussy about this shit. Cause I don't give a damn. Cause if I ran into the motherfucker, I'd beat the shit out of him. And say, look, that's what y'all get when y'all let a let a dumbass on the street, man. To me, he's a dumbass. He ain't gonna be a smart ass until he, cause he too damn dumb to be a smart ass. 
When I call him a dumbass, I'm talking about this man wears girl clothes to pretend to, that he be, he straight and shit. To pretend to be straight and shit, man. That, you got to think about it. He wears women clothing. He likes going around beating up people. And you think he's Billy Badass because he hangs around Usher. Doesn't You ain't Billy Badass because you hang around Usher. When your ass hang around some OGs, triple OGs in the neighborhood, you can call yourself a badass billy gun and pull some shit. But you ain't, because one thing is, that little, that little tough shit, that little tough shit that he's pulling, hey, that get him fucked up on the spot. But it's like this, man, if he can beat up somebody and walk away, I'm, I'm there for justice if I own Oh, it was just a misunderstanding. Let him go. No, motherfucker, you better like his. You better slap some charges on this dude. Something bad for that damn paparazzi suit. Yo ass and Justin Bieber. Cause that I can see now that paparazzi walking out with some money. Gonna take half your bank because you was stupid enough not to do the right thing. And you gonna be cooking yourself in the ass because you could have did the right thing. That's I'm saying like it is, man. All these damn. Judges and and, sh- and popos letting these damn celebrities slide like that, backsliding and stuff, makes no sense. If you can arrest T.I. and get him a year and a day in prison for gun charges, you can smack this little bitch, bitch ass with some with some with some with a P.O. and an ankle bracelet for something bad and tell him go get some anger management. Now you ain't, he ain't hang around Mike Tyson. Now you know that motherfucker got a tempo on. Now you need to slap them some papers on this boy. I ain't a bracelet and tell him he can't leave the state. Can't leave the country till that shit is up. You better give him some years. Oh, you just being a little hunched about this hair fro. No, 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 no. No, no, no. If I got to buy by law, so does he. If I got to follow laws, he got it too. If, he, if, I, if I can't break the laws, he can't break the law. If I get arrested for smacking somebody upside the head, he go go to jail for smacking up some smacking somebody upside the head. It doesn't matter who he is. It makes him makes him know better than nobody. Makes him makes him know better than nobody. He he just like everybody else. He bleeds the same color of blood. He's a human. Humans do make mistakes, but when he comes down to the law breaking, hey, motherfucker, you on your own, son. <laughs> That's how it is, man. That's how it is. You just can't sit up and kiss his ass because he's saying, oh, but you know what? I think he's... Come on, man. What what boy gonna come out? What boy? What boy gonna come out with a song? Oh, baby. He sound like he... Oh, baby, baby, baby. He sound like he about to have an orgasm. What what damn minor's gonna come out? Oh 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 oh! I'm telling like it is. If I break the law, I go to jail. If he breaks the law, he should go to jail too, just like anybody else. I don't think anybody that can sit up there, anybody that's rich and famous, got a little fame, should break the law and then get away with it. He should get jail time like anybody else, even from the smallest charges to the big charges. That's how it is with me, man. I, I'm telling like the T.I. is, man. Hey, there's no way this boy can... I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all, people that support bitch asses like that don't, don't understand nothing. I sit up here and I watch this... See this boy doing all this and that. And y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all want to kiss his monkey ass because he's got money because he's dating a pretty young woman. You got you judge because I ain't. Look, I'm gonna talk all this shit I can about Justin Bieber or Rob Deerdeck. That I don't give a fuck about two. I don't, I don't give a fuck about neither one of them. They both some punk ass bitches to me. But I like other. I love. I like Snoop Dogg. Dig the Afro man. I'm cool with Afro man and all like yeah. Look. Dig, uh, dig Eminem, dig Eminem got some good shit. D12. But when it comes down to it, man, it's the same as it's the same as everybody else. You j- 
just kind of sit up there and kiss his ass and let him walk because he Justin Bieber. How if how far long before he actually really do some damage? How far long before he gets drunk and really hits somebody and kills somebody? See what I'm saying? How far before he actually actually picks up a knife and kills somebody? How far long before he actually beats somebody to death? Or how long before he beats up Selena Gomez? You just don't know because nobody gives a damn. Because y'all so obsessed with him and worship him as a god that y'all don't not realize this boy needs help. He's he, he's 17 years old. His mama ain't teaching him nothing. Because if his mama was teaching him nothing, his bitch ass wouldn't be an alum like like he is now. Now you look at now you look at Master P. Man, smart enough to keep his son out of the spotlight and tell him to get that schoolwork done. This boy's gonna be the next Lizzie Lohan fucking up his life doing drugs and all this shit because people don't give a damn. All I'm saying, man, they need to fix this shit before he gets to the point where he start taking his frustration out on that girl now. And that's all that is to me, man. He gonna fuck up and kill that little girl or something because he got anger issues. I can sense that shit like motherfucker. Like I said, man, if the justice system can't do their job and arrest and prosecute people for certain crimes, then we don't need no justice system. Because that's all they do is sit up here and kiss these celebrities' ass just because of who they are and how much money they got and what they do. Now, this boy beat up a paparazzi. That's assault and batter. That means you give it. Probably uh, a P.O. be on papers. Everybody knows that turn. That means you get probation. And, and, or get probation and probably an ankle bracelet. See what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying, man. That these people need to wake up and realize, man. You can't be sitting there kissing his ass just because... He's Justin Bieber, and he's dating Selena Gomez. It doesn't work that way with me, man. You need to prosecute him now before they paparazzi start taking the, taking that state or that county to court because they didn't want to do their job. Then he going to turn around and sue him for all he got and all the thing he going to have left is his motherfucking drawers. His job, that paparazzi's job is to take pictures of celebrities. Justin Bieber's job is to entertain the people. See what I'm saying? You want me so hard to see what the ones we heard are you and me. And that's all it is, man. You just not, you just cannot kiss ass up to people like him, man. Like all your all the hours sitting up there when Lindsay Lohan was in trouble. What y'all do? Oh, that bitch need jail time. Why ain't nobody lock her bitch ass up? Why ain't no, she needs to be in there for some years? Why can't y'all do that to Justin Bieber? It's because Lindsay Lohan is a woman and he's a boy. Is it? Is it? Huh? Come on, is it? It, sh it shouldn't matter if he's a boy or a girl. It is what it is. You cannot sit up there and kiss his ass because of who he is and how much money he makes. I'm telling like T.I. is, man. Don't kiss his ass because he's just a beaver because he's like, man, uh, dating Selena Gomez. To me, I still think he's hiding in the closet. I think he's in the closet with R. Kelly now. I'm for real. I bet he got Rocky Man on his uh, playlist. I bet he got Rocky Man on his playlist. I bet he got his iPod, got Rocky Man, Benny and the Jets, Candle in the Wind. I bet he got all that on there. I bet you got that. I bet you got all the Elton John's hits. I'm telling you, man, you cannot kiss his ass just because of who he is. You cannot worship this man because of, he's not a man. He's a punk ass bitch, dick in the booty ass hoe. That's how it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. Tell me what you is. Tell me what you think. If you like what I got to say, man, tell me what you think about this situation. If not, kiss my ass and burn the head like the rest of them punk ass bitches. Leave it in the comment or video response. Find me on Twitter at AfroJoeTheWookie. 
and subscribe to my channel is CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. Peace, love, and hair grease. And please stop kissing this boy's ass. He is not worth it. Shit. Peace.